Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for such a long time. I've just been really busy for these past few months and because of my busy schedule, I just wanted to let you know that I will still be uploading videos on the channel, but they will be more sporadic and less frequent. With all that said, most of us know that bunnies need enrichment in their life to stay healthy and happy. The easiest way to provide some enrichment is with toys. Now, toys can get expensive, especially since they have to be replaced often as they get chewed quickly. But what if I told you that toys don't have to be expensive and you can make some toys yourself? In this video, I'll show you three types of toys that are easy to make and they don't break the bank. So we'll start with the flavoured balsa wood blocks as they take the longest to make. If you guys don't know, not every wood type is safe for bunnies, however untreated balsa wood is. I'll be using balsa wood blocks which I got from eBay, it came in a pack of 10 and I only paid about £6 which is pretty good. I'll of course link that down below for you. You can get various lengths and sizes of the blocks online or potentially like craft shops. Just double check that the balsa wood is untreated before you buy as some balsa wood might have been treated with chemicals which will make it toxic for your bunny. I chose to do two flavours for this video, you can choose how many you want but I'll be using fresh ripe banana and frozen raspberries. You don't need many things, you just need your chosen fruits and balsa wood blocks. If you're not sure what fruits your bunnies can eat, you can either scroll down to the description box below where I'll leave a list of all the bunny safe fruits or check out my DOI bunny treats video which I'll link above for you. If you are using frozen fruits, look at the back of the bag and make sure they are pure fruit and have no added sugar or other preservatives. I'll start with the banana first, I only use about a quarter of it as you don't need much. Place it in a bowl and with a fork start mushing it until it's fairly mushed. Now measure 200ml of boiling water to add to the mushed banana and just stir it thoroughly until it's well mixed. You can see we now have quite disgusting looking banana water. As bananas are dry fruits, in order to extract juice from it you need to use boiling water. Once thoroughly stirred, put your balsa wood in the mix and move it around to fully saturate it. Then cover it up and set aside for a few hours. I'm using a plate but you can use cling film or whatever you have on hand. In terms of how long you should leave it, I recommend at least 6 hours to overnight. I will be leaving mine overnight. You can occasionally stir it every few hours to make sure that the water gets fully absorbed into the wood. I'm using a similar process for my other flavour using frozen raspberries. I already put some in a bowl and because they are frozen solid, I won't be mushing them and instead will pour 200ml of boiling water straight away. Mix thoroughly before dropping the balsa wood, then stir again. Cover it up, leave for a few hours and stir occasionally if desired. After a few hours, fish the wood blocks out of the water and blot using paper towel to get rid of that excess water. There you have it guys, the flavoured balsa wood, saturated with 100% fruit juice for your bunny to chew on. You can also make a balsa wood fling out of it by combining several blocks of flavours, drilling a hole in the middle of all of them and putting a bunny safe rope through. The next toy I wanted to show you is nice and simple and it's a paper hay bag. All you really need is a paper lunch bag which is usually sold in a big pack. I got mine from Amazon which I will link down below. You will also need your regular hay to fill up your lunch bag with. There are a few variations that you can try. You can either choose to leave it open or tie it at the top with a natural and bunny safe string. I'm using jute which I'll also link below. If you choose to tie it up, make sure to only fill the bag about 3 quarters up so you have room to close the bag up with a string. You may also choose to cut out a little window in the bag for easier access to the hay and tie the bag up at the top, which is what I like to do. You can really get creative with the shapes you choose to cut out. I also like to sprinkle a bit of the forage mix into the hay that I get from Bunny's that lunch for additional enrichment experience. So this final toy is even quicker than the previous one and I like to call it a paper tube necklace. For this I've collected a few toilet paper tubes, you can have as many as you wish, it depends on how big you want your necklace to be and I'll be using the jute string again. So all you have to do is cut a decent length of the string to feed your tubes through, then just tie a knot at the end to keep the tubes on the string. For additional fun you can hide some rabbit pellets or treats in the tubes for your bunny to find. That's all I have for you guys, I hope these simple toy hacks will come in handy for you, I hope all of you had a great Christmas and I want to wish you all a happy new year. I'll try not to keep you waiting for too long for our next upload but in the meantime please comment, like and subscribe, 
hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video and if you'd like to connect with us even more follow us on instagram at snowythebunny14 i hope to see you all soon bye